please note that not every prophetic message that I share on this channel is meant for everybody. So it's important that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and take it back to him and ask him to give you the confirmation that you need before you run with the message. And for some of you, I know that this is going to be a confirming message because the Lord has already been speaking to you about this. And if that's the case and you have any questions, please make sure to take all those questions back to him because he will have the answers for you. Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. So I'm back today with a message from the Lord. Now, I'm trying to stay still because my mic... <laughs> I broke the clip and I need to contact my brother-in-law and get my other clip back because sorry I need my clip now but anyway <laughs> I'm here to share a prophetic message with you guys um, if there are any weird sounds because the mic may be moving I'm really really sorry okay we're gonna get this fixed tomorrow all right so this morning the Lord had me open my Bible to the book of Daniel right but I just to tell you guys how it happened, I picked up my Bible and I just heard the Lord say Daniel. So I was like, okay, something in the book of Daniel. And I opened it up and it opened smack bang on the first page of the book of Daniel. So I was like, yes, score. <laughs> anyway, so for me, that was confirmation. And listen, within seconds, the Lord just started pouring his spirit or at least pouring the message out, you know, um, just putting it in my spirit. So I'm just going to quickly grab my notes here. I had to write them down because it was just happening in the moment and I haven't had a chance to type it up and do the fancy things. But that's OK, as long as we have the notes. So he had me read Daniel chapter one, um, but he was like speaking to me about many different parts of the book of Daniel but today I'm going to focus on certain aspects of Daniel chapter 1 this is what today's message is based on so what the Lord was showing me as I was reading or as he was just ministering to me is that you, you've been in the captivity right of this world like we we're all here we're in this world um, in the system that is not a system that glorifies God. We're living in a time now where things are just blatantly more evil, more satanic. You know, it's more in your face. And it's almost like we're just stuck here, just almost um, held captive in the system, right? Just like Daniel was held captive in Babylon. So, um, I love how the book of Revelation, if you go to the book of Revelation, you'll find that it talks about come out of her, my people, um, O Babylon, you great city, something like that, you know, basically just saying that this system, you know, is Babylon. What Satan has built is Babylon and that, you know, God's people need to be set apart from that. But obviously we're here, you're here and it's, it's like, we, we have to be here because God has us here and we've got work to do, right? So what God was showing me is that even though you are in this world, we know the scripture, you may be in this world, but you're not of the world. Even though you're in this world and not of the world, God is going to cause you to thrive, okay? I know that for some of you, you it's been a long time coming, but you've had to be refined. And so God is going to cause you to thrive um, but he wants you to be determined, right, to not defile yourself by partaking in the ideologies and doctrines of the world. We see that in Daniel 1 verse 8, and I'm going to quickly try and read it for you guys. Um, the mic is still intact. Praise the Lord. <sighs> Okay, Daniel 1 verse 8, but Daniel was determined not to defile himself, right, uh, by eating the food and wine given to him by the king. So he asked the chief of staff for permission not to eat these unacceptable foods, right? Now, when we look at food from like a, um, as a symbol, right, food represents doctrine, it represents ideas stuff that you take in knowledge and information so the lord is going to cause you to thrive but it's going to take certain things from you it's going to take you being determined not to partake in the food in the doctrines in the ideology ideologies that would defile you right and cause you to be of the world and that's going to encapsulate you standing up for yourself just like Daniel you know he was given an instruction like this is the food you're gonna eat um, because they had just been appointed 
uh, to work um, in the palace because him and his friends were identified as, um, I guess, people with, with the brains and the skills, you know, to be able to uh, work for the king directly. So he had to now stand up for himself and say, you know, I cannot be, I cannot partake of the king's food. I can't eat the king's food. I can't accept the ideologies of the rulers right of the people in power if they go against god's word if they go against god's doctrines and his um, ways if there's a clash there you're going to have to put up a boundary with whoever it is that you're working with to say I can't do this. This is what I'm only going to partake in this because when you do those things, it will cause you to be stronger and wiser and basically spiritually superior because that's what ended up happening with Daniel um, and his friends. They actually looked better. They looked healthier. Their countenance was more positive. So them not partaking and eating the king's food was instrumental in them becoming wiser and stronger um we also read right let me just quickly check my notes before we go to the next scripture i just want to say that the lord needs you to be determined to stand up for the word for his word um and not uh, compromise you know just to fit in just to make sure that you don't get cancelled or whatever the case might be but it's going to take that determination you know the bible says daniel was determined not to partake of the king's food so you need to be determined not to partake of those doctrines and ideologies and your determination will pay off but you got to know that determination is not an easy task it is not easy for many for some yes There are people that are more whole who don't really, who are, um, yeah, who just can go out there and bulldoze and be like, I'm not taking this, that and the other. But for many of you, you've had to develop the skill of standing up for yourself, of putting up boundaries, and you need to be determined in that. So I just wanted to reiterate on the point of determination is very important because without being determined, you could easily flake and go into a comfort zone, which is just pleasing everybody around you. Now, Daniel's 1 verse 17 is also a very, very important part of today's message. It reads as follows. God gave these four young men an unusual aptitude for understanding every aspect of literature and wisdom. And God gave Daniel the special ability to interpret the meanings of visions and dreams. Okay, that first part, God gave these four men an unusual aptitude for understanding every aspect of literature and wisdom now what i got as the lord was ministering to me is that he is going to do that for you when you don't compromise on who you are on your morals and your values and um god's word and following jesus christ you god is going to not only cause you to thrive but he is going to give you unusual understanding what does it say here an unusual aptitude for understanding things of various subject matters and people will call on you now Some of you may think in order for you to be called upon, in order for you to be sought after, you need to speak their language. You need to look like them. You need to sound like them. You need to be in, you know, within their whole um, look and feel and whatever. But when we look at the example of Daniel, he said, I'm not going to follow your ways. Yes, I'm going to be respectful. I am going to... um, um, obey the authority of the king like he he still understood that the king was the king but there were just certain lines that he never crossed because he knew who the king of kings was so when you know who the kings of kings is you are not going to try to blend in to look like the people that god is sending you into the industry he's sending in sending you into you won't have to look like them you won't have to sound like them and because you're different because people can see that you are not messing around that you are not someone who compromises on their values and their beliefs 
that's going to come across in a very positive light to somebody you are going to be viewed as a person of integrity someone who can be trusted someone who doesn't flake someone who doesn't change with every passing wind but someone who is solid who does not compromise and that's going to make you more appealing and people are going to want to work with you you are going to be the name on everybody's lips as the go-to person in whatever area of life god is sending you into because of your standing on the word of God, because of you saying, I will not compromise on this. You know, um, like I said, you are in the world. You may be working in industries that are worldly, but you stand out because you are not conforming. You are not talking like them. You're not eating like them. You are not living like them. You're not looking like them, but you are looking and sounding like jesus christ okay you are standing there as his ambassador so that's really the message for this video i didn't want to drag it out too long so i really pray that this message has blessed you for you and i will see you all in the next video always remember that god is a good father he loves you so much because you my friends are so deeply special to him